Alrighty, let's talk about sulfur. So sulfur is a macronutrient, but it's considered a secondary macronutrient. So the plant's gonna need it in quantities kind of similar to calcium and magnesium. It's used in the formation of amino acids, proteins, oils, and even plays a role in photosynthesis. Because of this, it has very similar deficiency symptoms and behavior as nitrogen. And in fact, most plants that have a lot of nitrogen or most plants that use a lot of nitrogen are also gonna use and take up a lot of sulfur. It is mobile in both the soil and the plant. So remember, excessive water leaches it out of the profile and deficiency symptoms will appear on old leaves first. Sulfur is taken up by the plant in the form of sulfate, SO4. Deficiency symptoms are pretty difficult to detect because of the similarities with nitrogen. So the only way to confirm a deficiency is likely gonna be through a tissue analysis. Some symptoms can include chlorotic leaves, leaf burning. However, it's going to be even. It won't be uh, blotchy or spotted symptoms. A little fun fact about sulfur is that it can actually be applied to the soil to decrease its pH, and it can even be used as a pesticide, primarily a fungicide. Thank you very much.